Oh, so uh, first of all, I would like to welcome you uh, to this scientific conference. I'm really glad that uh, after more than five months of joint work and research, we can see each other <coughs> at least online. I would like to thank you for your interesting and meaningful presentations and your constant cooperation during the project. I would like to make a synthesis presentation on the definition of family and relationship forms in Central European countries based on the country report written by the members of this uh, research group. In my presentation, I would like to talk about four topics. First, the definition of a family and the conceptual approach to family. Second, legal protection and marriage issues. Third, legal protection of same-sex relationships. And last but not least, legal issues and protection of the de facto partners, that is, cohabitants. Although the legal system and legal logic of Central European countries are similar, and have so many common points, if we would like to dive deep into the given topic, we can find different legal solutions for the concrete issues. I also would like to mention that I will not talk about the Hungarian legal rules in detail today because my colleague has already talked about it. So the aim of this presentation is that I would like to give a comparative legal overview about the definition of family and the relationship form. As I mentioned, first of all, I would like to talk about the conceptual approach to family. In general, family can be considered to be a natural and basic component of a society which represents unity. It is not easy to provide the legal definition of family, although the word family seems to be easily understandable. What is a common feature in most of the family laws of the Central European countries is that most of them have no definition of family. But we will see that there are two exceptions because the Hungarian and the Slovenian legal system know the legal definition of family. In the following, I would like to show you some overview tables about the given country's conceptual approaches. The Croatian family law has become a separate legal discipline of civil law. The Croatian law has not provided a definition of family yet. However, in the legal literature, a family is constituted by a group of people who are related among themselves based on kinship, marriage, or any other legally relevant point of reference. The same is true to the Czech legal system. There is no definition of family and family members in the Czech Civil Code either. However, the first book of the Czech Civil Code, which is the general part of the Act, expressly protects the family established by marriage. The Polish law doesn't define family either. Neither the Serbian Family Act nor other family laws contain a definition of family because, first, family law regulates family relations and relations among among family members, so family itself is generally not the holder of the rights and duties, while it enjoys civil and social protection under the Constitution. In addition, there is no definition of family because a precise definition of family would lead to restrictions. Family relations are developing quickly. Consequently, new forms of family which were unknown in the past have emerged. As a result, it would be impossible to formulate an appropriate definition of family. The Slovak family law until 1949 wasn't uniformly regulated or codified in the Slovak Republic and didn't define family. Since 1950, family relations have not been stipulated by the civil code but by a separate law. As I mentioned, the Slovenian and the Hungarian family laws define the legal notion of family. According to the law of Slovenia, marriage is the main form of family. However, in the last 30 years, the family based on extramarital union has outgrown marriage, a traditional family form. The Slovenian family code provides a broad definition of family. According to it, family is an important social institution 
which enjoys special protection. Family is the living community of the child, regardless of child's age, with both or one parent or with another adult, provided the adult person cares for the child and has certain obligations and rights towards the child. As we can see, a child is a central element of the interpretation of family in the Slovenian family law. Like the Slovenian legal regime, the Hungarian model also defines the notion of family. The Act on Family Protection originally stated that the basis of the family could be exclusively the marriage of a man and a woman, or a direct relationship, or the guardianship of the family. In 2012, a decision of the Constitutional Court established that this clause of the Act contradicts the basic law. Consequently, before the so-called Fourth Amendment of the basic law, the concept of the family covers not just the family based on marriage, but also the family in a sociological sense. The contradiction was resolved by the Fourth Amendment of the basic law in which the following sentence can be read. The basis of the family relationship is marriage or the parent-child relationship. However, this kind of definition excludes the facto partnership and children born from this relationship from the concept of family and consequently and directly from this kind of family protection. Let me summarize shortly the features and common legal points of marriage. In all jurisdictions of the above-mentioned countries, the legal situation of marriage is regulated and recognized on the same ground. That is why I will not talk about the details of marriage and just give a comparative overview. The following tables summarize the legal environment, the most important acts, and other marriage-related laws of the given country. They also incorporate basic legal regulations of marriage. The most important question regarding to marriage is that whether the given country allows marriage to the same sex person or not. As you can see from the table, Croatian constitution protects marriage and states that marriage is a union of a woman and man. It also stipulates that marriage and legal relationships in marriage, non-marital union, and family shall be regulated by law. The Croatian Family Act allows marriage to different sex persons. The Czech civil law also allows marriage only between a man and a woman. However, a pending draft of another law favors the gender neutral marriage. Besides, this another second pending draft is very conservative and protects the traditional family model. According to the Czech legislation, the main purpose of marriage is establishing a family, a proper upbringing of children, and providing mutual support and help. Solidarity is of utmost importance. The Polish constitution states that marriage is a relationship between a man and a woman, so it doesn't acknowledge the marriage of same-sex persons. Homosexual couples are not allowed to marry, nor can they enter into registered partnerships. Serbia has a really conservative and traditional approach where a man and a woman can enter into a marriage before a state body. The Serbian constitution states that everyone shall have the right to decide freely on entering or dissolving a marriage. The Serbian law also emphasizes equality of man and woman during the establishment and dissolution of marriage. Similarly to the Hungarian model, in the Serbian family law, the civil marriage is obligatory, so religious marriage is not recognized. In Slovenia, the Family Act explicitly refers to the union of a man and a woman when marriage is defined. According to the Slovak family law, marriages of non-contractual nature, marriage is a union of a man and a woman aimed at starting a family and a bringing of children. Not only the Family Act, but also the constitution of the Slovakian Republic protects marriage and families. 
The Slovak family law is really conservative and orthodox, doesn't recognize same-sex marriages or non-traditional forms of marriages, and does not define or protect cohabitation. Although the Slovenian family law offers a broad interpretation of family, the definition of marriage remains traditional and is seen as a union of a man and a woman. That same sex partners cannot marry in Slovenia. The family law book of the Hungarian Civil Code declares that marriage shall be considered contracted if a man and a woman together appear before the register in person and declare their intention to marry. In Hungary, marriage is a bond between a man and a woman, which results in personal and property legal effects. The civil could also stipulate the formalities and the invalidity of marriage. The legal solution of same-sex partnerships in Europe are different. In some countries, marriage is available for same-sex couples. This tendency can be found, especially in the Western European countries. Another concept, which is also quite common, and for example, it is applied in the Hungarian legal system as well, is the registered partnership. Registered partnership has some formalities and such elements which are similar to marriage as well, but it has to emphasize that there are some rights and possibilities which are not open to same-sex partners. And the third solution is the de facto civil partnership or civil union, which doesn't require any formalities. It is also important that in some countries, such as Hungary, registered partnership and the facto partnership are also available to same-sex couples as well. According to the country report, we can state that for the protection of same-sex partnership, there is no fully unified legal background, which can be seen in the next table. For example, in Serbia, a draft act on same-sex union is currently under elab uh, elaboration. It would regulate both registered same-sex union and the facto same-sex union. Similarly to the Hungarian solution, in the draft, same-sex partners would have the same inheritance rights as spouses. In Slovakia, the family act doesn't allow same-sex person to enter into marriage, neither does it allow them to register their relationship as public administration bodies. As I mentioned before, we can see an interesting legal situation in the Czech Republic because of the two above-mentioned drafts. Uh, in the Czech uh, Republic, there is a separate act uh, on registered partnerships, similarly to the Hungarian model, it is also a main source of Czech family law. Some rights and duties of registered partners are similar to the rights and duties of spouses, for example, mutual maintenance duty based on the same living standard. So in case of death, the surviving partner has the same hereditary rights as the surviving husband or wife in marriage. This point can also be found in the Hungarian legislation. However, registered partners are not allowed to adopt jointly a minor child or become jointly foster parents of minors. It is interesting to note that homosexuality has always been legal in Poland. In the Polish law, the relationship of homosexual persons who are living in a long-term relationship are qualified as partnerships. In addition, the legal status of same-sex union is similar to the status of cohabitants, that is, they can take advantage of social welfare benefits, enter into the rights of a deceased partner who is a tenant of a flat, and exercise the right to refuse to testify in proceedings. Unlike Hungarian partners, they are not entitled to inherit under the provisions of interstate succession. Like in Hungary, same-sex partners in Poland cannot adopt children. In Croatia, the same-sex partnership act defines the same-sex partnership as life partnership. In 1998, 
The Republic of Croatia amended family law related to the facto same-sex union and distinguished two types of life partnerships. Life partnerships that can be entered into the registry of partnerships and the informal life partnership by analogy to the legal regime of the non-marital union. Considering the above, it can be stated that the Hungarian registered partnership and the Croatian life partnership show some similarities. According to the Croatian family law, if one of the partners in the life partnership has his her own child, the life partner is entitled to exercise parental responsibility. In Slovenia, the so-called Civil Unions Act was adopted in 2016, which granted almost the same rights to the same-sex partners in a civil union as the spouses. But we need to take into consideration that the Slovenian law doesn't grant same-sex partners the right to marry or the right to jointly adopt a child either. In Hungary, we can see a similar situation as the above mentioned. The registered partnership is the recognized form of a same-sex person. In Hungary, there is a separate act on this partnership form, which is the Registered Partnership Act, which was adopted uh, in 2009. Registered partnership means that two persons of the same sex who have reached the age of 18 together may personally enter into a registered partnership before the registrar. There are many similarities between marriage and with registered partnership. For example, they can inherit under the provisions of uh, interstate succession as well, but they cannot marry and can't uh, adopt a child jointly. As a last part of my presentation, I would like to give a comparative overview about the facto partnership in Central Europe. According to the Hungarian family law, the facto partners are two persons while living together outside of wedlock or registered partnership in an emotional and financial community in the same household. We can see mostly the similar basis of the facto partnership in other Central European countries. In Croatia, the informal non-marital union was introduced for the first time into the family law system in 1978. After that, in 1990, the non-marital union became a constitutional category in Croatia. It's also interesting to know that in Croatian family law, non-marital union is defined as a union of an unmarried woman and an unmarried man, lasting for at least three years or shorter, if the common child had been born the reign or had been continued by entering into the marriage. Non-marital cohabitation in the Serbian law is also a so-called de facto relationship. It is not possible to register non-marital cohabitation, which means in practice that there can be difficulties in proving the existence of non-marital cohabitation in the court practice. In Serbia, statutory regime in a non-marital cohabitation is a community property regime, as in marriage. The community property is the property that spouses acquire through work if they live together. In the Polish legal system, the cohabitation refers to a man and a woman living in a stable relationship. This relationship is realized in economic, spiritual, and sexual spheres. As an informal relationship, it is not subject to any registration. Staying in cohabitation doesn't create formal grounds for using the partner's apartment and property, and matrimonial regimes do not apply to cohabitants. According to the Polish law, cohabitants have a joint custody over their child, and their parental rights are mainly the same as married parents, but cohabitants cannot adopt a child jointly. We can see a really strong protection of cohabitants in Slovenia, where they are enjoying the same rights as spouses, not just in family matters, but in all other fields of law. The 
Slovak family law is very traditional, so it doesn't recognize the so-called non-traditional forms of marriages, consequently does not protect cohabitation. In the Czech legal system, the civil code expressly protects the family established by marriage. Because of this restriction, there are no rules in the Czech civil code which would establish mutual rights and duties between the cohabitants. The Czech country reports emphasize that cohabitants seldom conclude property contracts. This causes some practical problems because there is a weaker party in the relationship. It is also important that, similar to the Hungarian rules, children born out of wedlock are not discriminated, the rights and duties of the parents of any child are equal. For a long time, Hungarian family law considered the institution of marriage to be the basic unit of the family. However, the changes in society made it necessary to provide legal protection for other forms of social cohabitation. The number of cohabitants considerably increased, so the Hungarian legislation couldn't ignore this trend. In Hungary, the legal regulation on the facto partnership is really special. The facto partners can be both same-sex and heterosexual persons. The Hungarian legislation is a so-called dual regulation with regard to the facto partners because the relationship has not only family law effects, but it also considered to be a kind of contractual relationship. The obligation law part of the civil code provides not only the definition of the facto partners, but uh, it also regulates the property relation. The facto partnership has family law effects only if the partnership has existed for at least one year and the partners have a common child from their relationship. In addition, if same-sex partners live in a de facto cohabitation, this relationship has no family law effect. Conclusion. In conclusion, it can be stated that families and marriage enjoy similar constitutional and private law protection in the Central European countries participating in the project, even though a very defined concept of family can only be found in Hungary and Slovenia. Another similar feature is that in all Central European countries under investigation, marriage can only be concluded by a man and a woman on the basis of the same conservative traditions and the gender neutral marriage is not accepted. According to the studied country reports, it can be clearly stated that same-sex marriage is more common in Western European countries. However, this doesn't mean that same-sex couples cannot live with each other in a legally protected and recognized form of a partnership in the countries of the professor's network. This is typically the registered partnership, which, for example, in Slovenia and Hungary, has almost the same rights as marriage. Nevertheless, uh, it is not allowed to adopt a common child in such a relationship in these countries. The so-called de facto cohabitation is known everywhere, but it has different levels of protection and legal backgrounds because there are countries where de facto cohabitation lacks legal regulation, for example in Slovakia, while in other countries cohabitants enjoy the same protection as married couples, for example, in Slovenia. In addition, in some jurisdictions, the concept and conceptual elements, personal and property relations of the facto partners are stipulated in detail, whereas in others, their legal situation entirely differs from married spouses and registered partners, for example, in Hungary and uh, in Poland. In uh, some jurisdictions, the fact of cohabitation is recognized among the same sex couples and in, in uh, others, the fact of cohabitation is recognized as a family relationship. One thing is certain. The joint research within the Central European Professors Network shows that the legal protection of families and people in different relationships is based on the same conservative principles 
and Christian traditions in all given countries with special emphasis on marriage. However, marriage can only be based on the commitment, mutual promise and respect of a man and a woman in the light of solidarity. Of course, we shall not forget that time, human needs, relationships and the uh, perception of the family are changing and legislators must adopt the new needs. However, we must always follow the guiding principles millennial values and traditions which always shall show the right direction as an eternal compass. Thank you for your kind attention.